So I was invited to brunch today. It was supposed to be for 12.30, but then I said 1 o'clock, which would have been better for me, right? But then I didn't even realize that time started wasting and time started running out and now I got deaded. Well, really didn't get deaded. It's just that he asked me what's my ETA and I said 2.24 and he been at the restaurant since 12.30. I mean, that's not my problem. See, this is modern women. And this is the reason why they're single. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know when I upload content. And without further ado, let's roll that clown. So I was invited to brunch today. It was supposed to be for 12.30, but then I said 1 o'clock, which would have been better for me, right? But then I didn't even realize that time started wasting and time started running out, and now I got deaded. Well, really didn't get deaded. It's just that he asked me what's my ETA and I said 2.24 and he'd been at the restaurant since 12.30. I mean, that's not my problem. Like, I live in the Bronx. You live in Harlem. It takes a while to get down there. Plus, you have to know that there's traffic outside. I mean, it doesn't take a lot of time just to figure that out. You see, this is Exhibit D of a modern woman. The reason why we have so many women on the dating market that just don't value your time is because it's allowed. Men, we allow this. We see women for who they are. We allow modern women to continue their reign of terror without being stopped. This woman did not care about this guy's time. But see, there's a clear difference between this guy and the Cheesecake Factory guy. You know the difference? Where the Cheesecake Factory messed up, this guy didn't. This guy realized that this woman was not going to value his time. So she got dead She got dismissed. A lot of women would have to step up to the plate and stop being modern. If men dismiss them, you know what should have happened with that woman that was eating that lobster and was slurping her noodles? That man should have gone up and left. The one guy that met the girl at church and the woman was like, black men are sciencey because they aren't approaching me. Okay? You want to know why? Because you aren't approachable. You're sciencey. You're mean. You're hateful. You're modern. You don't carry womanly value. Hey, yo. You're masculine. Hey, yo. You don't smile. You don't look inviting. You don't give a man a reason to pursue you. And this woman will be alone. And she again will have no one to blame but her son. No one. It's not my fault. It's not your fault. It's not her mom's fault. It's not her dad's fault or lack thereof. Oh! It's her fault. And see, life is about choices. Ladies, hear me. Life is about choice. And the reason why the woman can go out, have a baby by five different guns, Go on national TV and get sympathy. But when the guy comes out, for those of you who have seen Maury, Jerry Springer, the Steve Wilco show, you know how bad they boo men. But then as soon as they say you are not the father, all of a sudden the man is no longer public enemy number one. A woman is allowed to lie on a man and get away with it. A woman is allowed to have multiple children by multiple men and not be held accountable. A woman is allowed to do that. But yet women want to say they are treated like crap by society. No, you're not. Women are the freest they have ever been. And if you go on my channel, you will see woman after woman after woman being free. 
doing whatever she wants. Nobody's looking at modern women telling them not to be modern women. The sisterhood encourages modern women because the sisterhood is made up of modern women. There is no sisterhood. It's just a bunch of modern women. This woman, like many other women, will more than likely die alone because you don't respect a man's time. You don't respect his energy. You don't respect or value men. But she wouldn't do this with a white guy. Oh! She wouldn't do this with an Asian guy. Oh! She wouldn't do this with a Middle Eastern or an Arabic or an Indian guy. Oh! But yet she'll pull this with a black guy. See, at the end of the day, you can only do what you are taught to do. And a lot of what you are taught to do is learned behavior. So what do we have to do? We have to learn better behavior. Ladies, do yourself a favor. Learn better behavior. And with that being said, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Tickle that notification bell that will let you know whenever I upload content. And until the next video, peace.